Hi, I'm Emma, and we're here at the KV8 red carpet event. Are you excited? Because I am. We're going to watch a movie and see more. and we're here at the KVA Red Carpets Awards where kids, videos, and adventures. Hi, I'm standing at the KVA Red Carpet event. I'm here interviewing Grace Foley and Shannon Belafato. What was your favorite part about the KVA program? It was probably most of the acting and getting to know the cast very well. Same with the cast, um, I agree with Gracie. It was a lot of fun getting to know the people that I was acting with, because yeah. I didn't know most of them that well. Yeah. What do you think about kids being able to express themselves through acting and having their artwork shared for the entire town? Really, like, I'm feeling that they will be, like, excited. I feel like it's great because we get to know what kids are doing they're not just sitting on their computers and on the electronics, they're actually out doing stuff. Go outside, kids! Can you tell us anything about your movie? Um, kind of scary. Just one word, scary. It's action-filled. It's very interesting. And I'm here with Angela and Megan. So what inspired you guys to wear what you're wearing? Well, it's because it's a fancy night and I just felt like wearing this one tonight. She told me to wear this. <laughs> <laughs> so you have it there. Keep watching. Hi, I'm Shannon at the MATV Red Carpet interviewing Angela, Megan, and Lily. What was your favorite thing about the KBA program last time? Um, it was really fun. We got to like explore what it was like, and um, we got to act some of it and a lot of stuff. Yeah, and eat. Like, was she, what, what, what <laughs> she said, like, I really like doing the commercials and the news segment. And I, loved the, uh, I loved how much we were rushing and, <laughs> and how funny it was, and I also liked recording the news. Emma, and I'm here at the KVA Red Carpet Awards, and I'm here with Courtney Phillips, <laughs> Vanessa Arnai. So, how are you guys doing today? Good. Good. Are you guys excited? Is this your first Red Carpet Awards? No. no? My first. Your first? My second. So, tell me a little bit about the film. Well, it's about this group of friends who are trying to find a summer job, and then we meet Vanessa's character, Skylar, which she is a new kid, so she's just in the mix of trying to find a job. It sounds exciting. I hope you guys have fun. You too. Hi, I'm here with... Mayor Gary Christensen. Yay! We're here at the KVA Red Carpet Awards, and I'm going to ask you a few questions. All right. So, why did you come here? Well, I think you know by now I'm a big supporter of the youth, and I wanted to be here to see all the great work that you're doing for our city. Great! And it's a great honor to have you here. It's the other way around. <laughs> you really are the future, and uh, I couldn't be prouder to be mayor. Thank you.
welcome to the uh, Baldwin Senior Community Center. My name is Ron Cox. I'm the Executive Director of MATV, Baldwin's Media Center. And I can't tell you how thrilled I am to have you all here tonight. Let's have a big round of applause for this wonderful audience. This is always a wonderful event because uh, the kids put a lot of work into this uh, video you're about to see. And uh, it's done over a two week period in terms of the content. And then there's uh, probably a five month period of editing that's involved. Uh, and uh, we now know it's summer's coming when this video uh, screening happens because it's the first sign of spring in my mind. So again, thank you for coming. Uh, this, I think, is the ninth annual KVA premiere. I'm Daily Double. Welcome, Welcome to, to Double, Double Trouble, Trouble News. News. Oops. Our top story tonight. The 2016 presidential election. There are 17 candidates running for the Republican nomination. And it's starting to look like a circus out there. It looks like right now, businessman and TV personality Donald Trump is leaning in the polls. Let's go now to Mr. Trump, who is currently in Manchester, New Hampshire, seeking votes for the first in the nation primary this fall. Hello, Donald. How's the campaign going? First of all, call me Mr. Trump, you loser. I'm doing better than anyone else, and the people love me. Okay, Mr. Trump, how does it feel to be ahead in the polls? It's what I expected. I tell it like it is. And you're a loser. The mainstream media doesn't get it. Hey, we're in double trouble news and nothing can affect us. Why do you keep insulting people? Because I tell it like it is, like it really is. And now the question everybody wants to know. What's up with your hair? Hey, nobody has better hair than me. I'm the richest, smartest, best looking candidate running for president. And I got the best ideas and nobody can lead this country better than I can. Deal with it. You don't seem to have any respect for people. The Mexicans, war heroes, news reporters, people in general. What's the story? Guess what? I don't care. I'm what really matters. And you're both losers. In fact, you're double losers. You're both fired. Oh, really, Donald? You're fired. Cut my hair! And now for the Democratic side of the story. There are three candidates running for the Democratic nomination. F former Secretary of State Hillary Clinton, Vermont Senator Bernie Sanders, and a third guy nobody knows. However, Vice President Joe Biden is also thinking for running for president as well. Let's go back live to New Hampshire with Hillary, to talk to Hillary Clinton, who is at her campaign headquarters in Manchester seeking votes. Good evening, Mrs. Clinton. Good evening. You can call me Hillary. Okay, Hillary, for the first time in history, a woman has a chance to become president of the United States. How does that feel? I feel pretty confident. In fact, I'm pretty confident about everything. How does your husband, Bill Clinton, feel about maybe becoming the first gentleman? He wasn't always a gentleman, but enough about him. This is about me. Okay, let's focus on you. What, what about the controversy about the emails and the classified information that might be on your computer? Oh, don't remind me. It has been said that some of those emails were top secret and people could get access to them. This is nothing but a distraction. Let's talk about the real issues. Education, healthcare, the economy, Iran, and the 17 clowns running for president. Okay, let's pick one of those issues. What about Obamacare? Don't you mean Hillary Care? Because when I'm president, we're going to do it the right way. And just what is the right way? When I'm president, we're going to have healthcare for everyone. Men, women, children, cats, dogs, birds. We're going to have health care for every living thing. That's going to be very expensive. Who's going to pay for it? The rich people, of course. People like Donald Trump and Bill Gates. Okay, Mrs. Clinton, thank you for talking with us. It's Hillary. Please call me Hillary. We don't need to use my last name. Is that because we already had a Clinton in the White House? No. I just want people to know it's me running for president, not my husband, Bill. Let's keep the focus on me. Okay, Mrs. Clinton, thank you for talking Hillary. with us. It's Hillary. Hillary for president. Okay, Hillary, thanks for talking with us. That's it? 
No more questions? I have more answers. I have more solutions. I'm sorry, Hillary. We just ran out of time. But I have more to say. Goodbye, Goodbye Mrs. Clinton. Clinton. Stay with us. We'll be right back after this short message. Hey, guys. Let's go play outside. Nah, no, thanks, Grandma. I'm not playing a game. No, thanks. You guys spend way too much time on your cell phones these days. You asked for it. Mom! Grandma! 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 Come on! Picnic. Now that's better. Buy the knocky phony thingy today for only $3,000. It's the thingy that brings your family together. And now for our next story. It looks like the dream of having the 2024 Olympics in Boston is over. The International Olympic Committee has decided to pull the plug in the Boston bid because there was no public support. Both Massachusetts Governor Baker and Mayor Walsh had had second thoughts about bringing the Olympic Games to Boston. Let's go live to the Boston Common where we have our reporter Octavia Olympic who is with the Mayor of Boston, Marty Walsh. Thank you, Terry. I'm here with Mayor Walsh to talk about the latest news regarding the 2024 Olympics. Thank you for taking the time to talk with us. You're welcome. Catchy name, by the way. Thank you, sir. The Olympic bid has been taken away from Boston. First you supported it, then you didn't. What's the story? Well, at first I thought Boston would, would do great with the Olympics, but after hearing from the voters, I changed my mind. So you mean you were convinced that it was too expensive for the city? No. I thought that I would lose votes in the next election. But what about these people who are getting ready for the next Olympics? What are you both talking about? The boss, the Olympics are not coming to Boston. What? The Olympics aren't coming to Boston? Well, can't you just fly to the next Olympics? Like, what's the problem? What about me? I have all these hot dogs to sell. What am I going to do now? <laughs> What am I supposed to do with these souvenirs? They already have the Boston logo on them. Uh, well, sell them on eBay? Ah, why didn't you cancel the Olympics? Well, there you have it. Boston has lost the bid for the, for the 2024 Olympics, and people aren't very happy about it. Uh, I hope Mr. Walsh is okay. Back to you, Terry and Daly. Thank you for watching Double Trouble News, where it's trouble all the time. Hi, I'm Millie Lays, back for another product that you're sure to love. Are you just too busy? Do you wish you had more time to do stuff like, I don't know, put on makeup? Are you tired of putting makeup for hours and hours on end? Well, then I have the perfect product for you. Now introducing Insta Makeup. Insta Makeup will make you look beautiful in an instant. Just put one dab of the product on your face and you will instantly look beautiful. It's good for all types of skin tones. Wow, look at your beautiful makeup. This only took five seconds with the help of Insta Makeup. Go out and get Insta Makeup today. Beware, towards dusk you may turn into a zombie if you don't take off the makeup in 24 hours. <laughs> Wait, what, what, what happened? Oh my gosh. Wash your hands after putting on Insta Makeup. You can order the product by emailing yada yada at yada yada yada.com or by calling 123 456 7890. If you start feeling the side effects, then immediately contact your doctor. Insta Makeup is not responsible for any injuries you're causing to yourself or others. No zombies were harmed in the filming of this commercial. Get your Insta Makeup today! Roxy, I thought she was coming over. Why don't you text her? What do I say? Ask her what's taking her so long. She's gonna be late. Okay. 
How about this? Where are you and what's taking you so long? Roxy's always late. She'll be late for her own funeral. Oh, she just responded. She said she's on her way and should be here any minute. I hope she gets here before Skylar does. What do you think of the new girl? She's a nerd. She's always carrying a ton of books, and she seems so quiet and shy. I heard she also seems to be afraid of her own shadow. <laughs> Where is she from? I heard she's from New Jersey, and her parents are getting a divorce. Who's getting a divorce? Oh, the new kid, Skylar's parents. What took you so long? My mom made me clean my room. When is she coming over? She should be here any moment. If you don't like her, why did you invite her over to your house? To do homework for us. And how are you going to do that? If she wants to be in the in club, she has to help us out. What if she doesn't even want to join our club? Everyone wants to join our club. Duh. Roxy, go downstairs and let her in. Why doesn't your mom let her in? Or you? My mother went shopping and I don't feel like it. Okay, I guess I'm gonna go let her in. Sometimes he was so bossy. Do you have a problem with that? Uh, no, but I was thinking that. I don't care what you think. Just keep on doing what I say. But I was... Quiet, I hear them coming. Hi, Skylar, welcome to my house. Hi. Wow, what a beautiful house you have. I think we're gonna move to a better one soon. Time for introductions. This is Raina, my sister. This is Riley, and you already met Roxy. That's weird, all your names begin with R. That's okay, we'll make an exception for you. Where are all your books? I thought I was going to help you guys with your homework. Well, we thought you would just do the homework for us. Yeah, since you're so good at it, we thought you'd help us out. Uh, yeah, but you're not going to learn anything if I do it for you. Well, that's our problem, not yours. School is out in just a few weeks anyway, so are you going to do it? I guess, well, if it's just this one time. Yeah, just this one time. What are you guys doing this summer? I got a job with the City Summer Youth Program. I need a job too. My mom bought me tickets for the Ariana Grande concert and I need to pay her back. My mother got me tickets too, but it was for a Fall Out Boy concert. And I have to buy some new shoes. Can I get a job at that program? Sorry, it's too late. The registration is over. They already hired everybody. Well, I guess I'm lucky. My parents are rich and I don't have to work. Well, I'm not. I still need a job and I need money. Hey, I found this job posting on the internet. You have job available. Good pay, great hours, no experience needed. Does it have a number to call? No, but it has an address. Where is it? It's 666 Mystery Lane. Now that's a mysterious address. Well, I need a job. I'm going to check it out. Me too. It's getting kind of late, and what about our homework? Forget that. I want to see this place. You can do our homework later. I don't know. I've got a funny feeling about this, guys. What are you, a scaredy cat? <laughs> <laughs> I, well, it's just that I have homework to do, and it's getting late. Don't worry. We'll take care of you. And besides, you can do our homework later. Come on. Let's go. I'll meet you guys there. I've got to babysit my sister. My mom's going out tonight. Is it okay to bring her? Sure, as long as you come. What's her name? Sam. It's short for Samantha. We'll meet you there at 3 p.m. Bye. 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 I like her. She seems to be nice. Yeah, not bad if you like geeks. <laughs> come on, let's go. Is this it? 666 Mystery Lane? My mother told me that number is the sign of the devil. Your mother's right. It says so in the Bible. Or maybe it's because across the street is number 667 and the one beside it is 668. <laughs> Who is this? This is my sister Sam that I told you guys about. Whoa, Skylar, where's your glasses? Uh, sometimes I wear cotton tacks. Oh. Hi, Sam. I'm Rena, and this is Rosie, Riley, and Roxy. Welcome to the In Club. Hi, nice to meet you all. What are we doing here? Well, we're looking for a job we found on an ad online. It seems spooky. Are you sure you want to go in? <laughs> are you a scaredy cat like your sister Skylar? <laughs> <laughs> 
No, she isn't. But this place looks dark and unsafe. I think she has a point. What kind of job could this be? Oh, don't tell me you're a sissy like Skylar. No, I think we need to be careful. Is the door open? Hey, what does that sign say? Youth job available. Good pay, great hours, no experience needed. Just like the ad online. I guess this is it then. Wait guys, what does that sign say up there? It says Magic Kingdom. Ooh, maybe this job has what something to do with Disney. Hey look guys, the door's open. Well, I need a job. I'm going in. Me too. I want to see what this job's about. Coming? I'm going too. Aren't you coming? I'm coming, but we need to keep our eyes open. This place needs to be cleaned. Ew. Whoa. This is spooky! Oh my gosh, the door just closed. It's locked! Oh, uh, this is getting scary, guys. What are we going to do now? I warned you guys about this. Come on, don't panic. It's just a house. I'll find a way out of here. Follow me. What are we going to do now, Skylar? Let's follow them and see where they're going. We need to find a way out of here quick. Ugh, cobwebs. This is disgusting. This, this place gives me the creeps. Weird. <laughs> oh look, the two scaredy cats decided to join us. <laughs> hey, we want to find a way out of here too. <laughs> Wait a minute. Look at those doors over there. One says Disney, the other says exit. What do you think they mean? I said we choose the exit door and get out of here. But it could be a trap. Or we could choose the Disney door and have an adventure. Maybe it is a job working at Disney World. I would love to work at Disney World. Me too, let's check it out. <laughs> okay, let's have an adventure. Follow me. Do you think we're gonna fit? Oh. Maybe. Oh, Come on. Come on, Riley. I don't know. Whoa, Disney! Aren't we going to follow them? I'm thinking. What are we going to do now? Well, we could choose the exit door and get out of here. Let's go save our friends. Whoa, look at this door, it's so small. I know, right? I wonder if we'll fit. Oh, wait, I almost forgot the key. This place is definitely not Disney World. It's more of a Disney World from hell. This is the longest hallway ever. <laughs> My feet are tired. Mine are too. Hey look, down there. It's all locked and frozen. Let's go find out. No, not, no way, I'm not going near that thing. Me either, I'm staying right here with Roxy. Do you think he's alive? I'm definitely alive. <gasps> what happened to you? I was kidnapped by Captain Hook. You mean Captain Hook is real? Well, he's as real as me. But how is that possible? You all made up characters from Disney. Captain Hook somehow found a, um, found a way to become real. But why is he in our town? He's trying to create his own Disney world, but it's an evil one. How is he going to do that? And he has a magic cane and he turns kids into evil Disney characters. Is there a way out of here? Yes, 
You have to find the magic key. Where can we find it? Unfortunately, Captain Hook has it. Well, we can at least take the blindfold off. Where's Captain Hook? There's someone looking for me. The one and only. What are you going to do with us? I hate kids. Ever since Pizza Pan came over <laughs> to my island with those kids, I've hated them ever since. Why are you making your own Disney World? I want to make my own Never Never Land from the kids that I can't stand. You don't even know us. I don't need to know you. Enough talk. Now for some magic. <laughs> She's now working for me. But I didn't want a job. Well, too bad. But it's not fair. Too late to change your mind. You can't do this. Tough. Captain, there are two girls walking around in the fantasy room. I'll deal with you girls later. Yes, I can. Welcome to my world. I'm glad you joined me. No, I'm not alone. Now how are we going to get out of here? We need to find the key, remember? Oh my goodness! It's Minnie Mouse. What happened? I was once a young girl like all of you, and Captain Hood turned me into a Minnie Mouse to work for him. I hate Captain Hook. This place is getting on my nerves. Same here. It's okay, Minnie. We'll find a way out of here. You're going down a dangerous path. Be careful. We, we will. will. Hang tight, Minnie. Oh my goodness. What's this? It looks like a dungeon. This certainly isn't Disney World. How are we going to get out of here? I don't know. I'm going to try and see if I can reach Rosie. Is it ringing? No. It looks like the, connect the service here is blocked. What's that noise? I don't know. <gasps> it's me. Don't be afraid. You can talk? Yes, I can. Who are you? My name is TikTok and I... And I am my lizard looking for Captain Hook. The Captain Hook from Peter Pan? Yes, that Captain Hook, and I'm trying to find him. But in the story, you were a crocodile. J.M. Barry got it wrong. In real life, I am a lizard. This is crazy. What's real and what isn't? Wait, I assure you, this is very real. But what is this place, and why is Captain Hook here? It's called Hook World, and the captain is kidnapping kids and turning them into evil Disney characters. Why? He hates kids ever since Peter Pan brought those kids to Never Netherland. He's had trouble. He wants revenge for his life. Why make a hook world? Because he loves Walt Disney and wants to make his own amusement park but it's e it's an evil part. I'll say, how do we get out of here? Find the magic key. You mean this key? Did you take it out of the Disney door? Yes. Then you found then you found the right key. Now I've got to find Captain Hook. Good luck finding your friends. Which way should we go? Well, if the lizard went that way, I say we should go this way so we don't run into Captain Hook. You mean this Captain Hook? So you're for real? Yes, as real as you two. Now come with me. I told you I had a funny feeling about this place. Let us go. Let us go. Shut up, you two. Rosie, is that you? Unfortunately, yes. Shut up, all of you. Now I'll turn you all into Disney characters. Captain, I think TikTok is coming for you. No. No, not that stupid. No. Stay back. S stay back. 
Get off me! Not that stupid lizard! No! Get get away from me! Quick, Skyler, get the magic cane! Back, Rosie. Thank you, Skyler, for saving me. I'm sure you would have done the same thing for me. I don't think I would have. I've been a really bad friend to you. I've been bossy. I want to start over again. It's not too late to change. Riley is right. You could become a better person. Now let's get out of here. I've got the magic key. Let's hear it for Skyler. Yay, Yay Skyler! This summer hasn't even started, and we've already had a great adventure. But no one will ever believe us. But what about the magic cane? I say we bury it. It's an evil cane. Yeah, let's do that. Let's get out of here. I've got the magic key. Let's take Olaf with us. Let's get out of here. Are we recording? Action. Welcome, Welcome to Double, Double Trouble, Trouble News. Oops. I should do it again. I, I want to get that. Oh. Cannon! You like. Wow, you look so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> wow, look at. Oh, wait, never mind. Why is that? Action. Wow, look at your beautiful face. <laughs> Uh, this is gonna take You're like, yeah. Fitting. Like, you do do. Did Nabby come in here? Ah, oh, we're shooting! Oh, I'm so sorry. Oh, oh, no. oh, oh, we just had You it. should be very it's sorry, Mom! What about me? I have all these hot dogs to sell. What am I going to do now? <laughs> it's alright, we'll cut to the other shot. <laughs> yeah, try not to laugh. <laughs> oh my god. Okay. Um, you smiling. I know, I can't. Yes! Uh, Ow, what's my elbow? <laughs> just sign, just sign off. Yeah, do that. Sure, all the time. Try. Get your hand out. No, how do I do this? I like Get your hand out of my face. It's okay. Oh, it's just a. Oh. Um. Right, do it again. Do it again. Okay. <laughs> we just. No, it's just like. I like the other one. Look at the cobweb. Really action. But it could be a trap, like. Wait, 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 wait for you to get the shot. Later. Yeah, well, that's, well, later. That's, that's later. later. She what? says that later. That's later. And I say that could be a trap. There. All right, that's we gotta have somebody follow us. I need you to do this. What are you doing right now? You stay. Just tell me to get the line. I don't know. We have to, to, to tell them. That's what you're doing. Or we could choose the Who has it? Who has it? Oh, this is what I want you to do. When they get stuck, when they don't know it, say to them, who says it, and say it. Next line. Me. Me. Okay. Ready? You ready now, Haley? Put in the shot. What? Put in the shot. We're not going to that shot yet. <laughs> keep going. Keep going. It's more of a Disney World from hell. Just stop and say it. Keep going. Okay, now it. now you went down the hallway, now you're further down the hallway. That's how we're going to do it, okay? Right. Can you move to the... Uh, there you go. Say it again. It louder. It's more of a Disney World from hell. No, okay. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, that's enough. Alright, we gotta, we gotta finish this last scene. Come on. Alright, last scene. Alright, hold on, Natalie. You, you just gotta throw that down beside It's the him. big scene. No, not now. We're not recording. Like you know. Are we recording? <laughs>
you very much. And now, please meet the KPA of 2016. All right, guys, uh, I'm going to give you the microphone. <laughs> so, uh, what did you think? <laughs> Every year is a challenge. Uh, they get two weeks to put this together. They always do a, n a news show. This is the first time they've done a news show with two hosts. They called it Double Trouble. That was a great idea. Uh, they also have to come up with their own commercials. And of course, then they do uh, the uh, the movie. And uh, this is a very interesting movie because we want to thank uh, uh, Paul Caesar, who was over there, who gave us uh, these great masks, and uh, we appreciated that because it gave us an idea for making a movie. Okay, I'm going to have uh, the crew uh, uh, introduce themselves. Uh, Why don't we start right with you and. Uh, Tell us a little bit about uh, what, what uh, was your favorite thing, and then we're going to take questions from the audience. My name is Angela, and my favorite part about um, the experience was the bloopers. <laughs> my name is Megan, and the bloopers were my favorite part, too. My name is Lily, and my favorite part was how we were all rushing at the end. <laughs> um, my name is Shannon, and my favorite part was that we just had a lot of fun. My name is Brendan, and what I liked the most was what, what everyone was doing when they weren't acting. <laughs> my name is Vanessa, and my favorite part was when we knocked Brendan down during the bloopers. My name is Grace, and my favorite part was the bloopers. My name is Natalie, and my favorite part was probably also the bloopers. <laughs> my name is Courtney, and my favorite part had to be thinking of the commercials. My favorite part... I used to hate it. My favorite part was the bloopers. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you. So just to uh, let you know, uh, everything you saw on that uh, video was uh, written and uh, produced and crewed by these kids themselves. So let's have a round of applause for the talent. Uh, they're not only behind the scenes, they're in front of the scenes and uh, and writing, and uh, learning how to write, and uh, what a great job they did. It's always a challenge, and I'm always surprised how different each year is. So at this time, I'd like to uh, offer you people out in the audience. Uh, over there, Brian has a microphone. If you'd like to raise your hand and uh, come up with a question, and uh, we'll try to answer it. This one right there. What was the hardest scene to shoot? Shannon, I think she has an idea. The hardest thing to shoot was probably the one that was a chance because they kept falling off the wall. <laughs> I think the most difficult scene to shoot was the one we had to shoot over and over and over. was when we were in front of the building. We had to do that at least 500 times. <laughs> well, it seemed like 500 times. <laughs> I honestly think the most difficult part was when we did the um, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton because we went over that like a million times. So, um, yeah. <laughs> the hardest part was in the close ups. I was not in it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, another question. Oh, we got another answer. Somebody? Okay. I think the hardest part to um, shoot was when we were like standing in front of the building because like everyone kept either messing up their lines or saying someone else's lines or forgetting their lines or just cracking up, so. I think the hardest part was probably the, um, the Olympic scene, because the hot dog, because it kept on falling, we kept on laughing, it was just Yeah, about that scene, I'm, I'm glad you mentioned it. Um, I would like to share a, a very um, moving story about that part. It was difficult, although it was a very short, short line, but you had to get the hot dog cart perfectly and everything, so it was a very difficult scene to shoot. And Kieran was having a, a hard time delivering the lines without laughing. So we had to do many times to the point where you got a little frustrated 
Um, but it was so amazing for me to see how supportive the rest of the group was actually, to me, one of the most amazing <laughs> thing about this group was that they were so engaged and supportive of each other. And finally, after we got that scene, and you did a great job, we all saw in the video, everyone was clapping for you. Do you remember that part? Like, we had such a hard time. <laughs> yeah, everyone uh, was clapping and cheering for you. I felt that was a very great moment for this group, so I, I could never forget that. But you did. Yeah, let's hear it. <laughs> this is really a collaborative effort. Uh, every summer we do this, and uh, and it's amazing to me how it, everyone does come together and make it work. Uh, we have a question right down there, Brian. Right? What was the easiest part? <laughs> easiest. I would probably say the easiest part was walking down the hallways, like the first time, like the first time we like walked down the hall, like because really all you had to do was just go walk, walk, and then like, and then just look at us and like, oh my feet hurt. <laughs> yeah, that, my feet actually hurt. <laughs> yeah, some of the lines just came naturally. <laughs> I think um, the easiest is probably going through the door, because like <laughs> all we do is just open the door and like walk in. Yeah, the door kind of fell on someone's foot. <laughs> I think the easiest part was like probably filming the dance party bloopers because we just had to dance and have a fun time. <laughs> Brandon's just going to pass the mic. <laughs> I agree with Vanessa that that was probably the easiest part. I think the easiest part was when we were walking down the hallways or when I, when all I had to say was, ew, when I walked into the room, I was just like, ew. <laughs> That's all I had to say in that scene. My favorite part was when um, I kept laughing in Insta Makeup. Yeah. All right, got a question over there, thank you. My question is directed towards the popular R girls. How hard or easy was it for all of you to play sassy girls? <laughs> <laughs> I think it was pretty easy because I um, kind of uh, play role plays with my friends and at one point I had to be a like really sassy girl so it was kind of normal for me because we played that role play for like I don't know a month. So. Okay. It came naturally to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm very sassy, I will be honest. Mom, you know that. Um, I talk back, I <laughs> do. So, it came naturally and it was a lot of fun to play someone sassy. So, it was um, pretty easy for me because um, I, um, <laughs> like, I do it like a lot. <laughs> Like, I'm just normally have the talent of being sassy. Seriously. <laughs> I think it was kind of easy because we had like the script, so it kind of said like give it attitude and kind of be like kind of rude a little bit, which like in the script it was fine. <laughs> Uh, that's a question, Anne has a question. Okay. So especially for, for kids who haven't done this before, when you're acting, you don't know what it's going to look like in the final edit. So when you're sitting here watching the movie, did it look different than the way that you envisioned? How did you feel looking at the final edit? Yeah, go ahead. So this is my first time doing this, but I've been at MATV for longer. Um, I um, kind of felt a bit annoyed what um, the Octavia Olympics thing looked like because I was really short. <laughs> and, and, and I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, what did you say, Shannon? <laughs> um, so I thought it was um, pretty cool. Um, a 
lot better than I thought it was going to be, but it was still really embarrassing. Um, it was um, pretty, so, like when I saw it, I actually didn't know what it would, it would look like before. And then when I saw it, I was like, oh, the, it like, looks really cool. And I thought it was pretty neat. I liked it. Well, this is my first time ever acting like ever. So when I saw all the bloopers, I'm like, wow, we made a lot of mistakes. <laughs> like, I thought it was just gonna be like no bloopers. <laughs> Now who can talk a little bit about the, um, the amount of work that was involved in putting this together? <laughs> um, like, it was um, pretty difficult in some scenes because like we kept like messing up or um, yeah. Like we had to film it again and again and again and again, and it just got frustrating because um, it was pretty hard at some times, and at other times it was just really fun and yeah. I, okay. So I think like the scene that we did like over and over and over again, like we stayed back like a few minutes after. My mom was like, "Where is she? Where is she?" Because it was in front of the um the house, and we just had it like over, and over, and over. We like I either forgot my lines or someone messed up. It was just really difficult. Difficult, yes. Mhm. Mm <laughs> it was really difficult. Yes. Brenda, you've, you've gone through uh, at least four of these. So t talk about how you've grown in, in this project. <laughs> you, you really have. Uh, when, when Brandon started, he was a very shy kid, I swear. He's grown immensely, and uh, it's great to see uh, his development and, and uh, his, his empowerment, really. It's, it's great to see. How we come up with the, the script, everybody said, how do you get kids to write? Uh, essentially what we do is uh, we come up with the idea, and. All we had right at the bat was, hey, we got a bunch of these uh, Walt Disney heads. Let's use them. And uh, they wanted to come up with some kind of mystery story. And uh, we started ad-libbing scenes. We record the, uh, the scenes as we're writing them. And then while we're writing them, we'll either say, well, that's a good line, or that doesn't work. And we'll critique it as we create it. All that gets re uh, written down, and then that becomes a script. And even during the uh, recording of the script, as things change, somebody might come up with a better idea during the, the recording and, and that gets used. Sharon was actually very good at coming up with lines. Uh, she's not kidding, <laughs> but she uh, has that character down. Um, any more questions? Yes, right here. Brian? Um, I guess, can, back. can any of you guys work the camera? Yeah, how many do you camera? Alright, so this question is going to be directed towards Kieran. <laughs> um, so was it hard to control the camera while they were all laughing? Like, was it hard to keep it still when not? It had to be still. It was kind of difficult when you had to turn the camera. By the way, that was Kieran at the voice of the lizard. <laughs> Uh, this project I've been doing, it's been ten, ten, ten years here at MATV. Uh, this is actually the last KVA that I'll, I'll be doing because uh, I'm handing it over to Haley Howe, who uh, is uh, going to be taking on this summer and uh, making it her own, which I'm really excited <laughs> to see. Uh, but uh, why don't you come over and say a few words? Yeah, because we um, have already had questions about when we can sign up for K KVA, but. Um, uh, this program, as you have seen, involved a lot of um, work, including the kids, Ron and I, and we just have got to the point where um, it's a little too hard to 
Pando every year. So we thought we would um, try something new and uh, offer more of a variety of programs at MATV for kids uh, also at different age to do something. But later on, we, we actually were talking about we can um, create later on a program to for older kids to do movies, only movies together. But this summer, we are going to offer three classes. June, July, and August are all gonna have a class for you to pick from. The one in August is the one that's going to sort of replace KBA. Uh, we're going to incorporate more um, you know, multimedia type of tools for you guys to use because that's where the world is heading to. And you guys are so uh, actually fabulous using those tools. And actually I have to mention, uh, Noelle, who is not here, she has a, a game to play her first game, but she made a trailer. Do you guys remember during the program? Yeah. She yeah, yeah. was, actually Maya helped her record uh, behind the scenes stuff on her phone, on her iPhone, and she put together a trailer very quickly, which wowed both Ron and I. We're like, we, we have to edit this for a month and you just did this now. And we were so impressed by what these new tools uh, now kids are using. So we want to have our programs more, uh, having that component more for today's kids. So that's the new direction that we're going. But um, the, the, the more details will be coming soon. I think by the end of May, we'll know exactly the details of the, the schedule and uh, um, the dates and time and all that stuff. So be sure to check back with us to see what's going on. And I'm sure you guys will love it. And I'm actually thinking for next year's red carpet, we would actually showcase all of our youth programs. So instead of only showing KBA's videos, I think all the other programs that we do, like Salsa that Maya teaches, and Studio B class, um, Alyssa Ardai teaches, all these classes that we have going on at MATV all deserve a great fancy uh, premiere to show you guys what these kids have been doing. So that's the new direction that we're going. And the red carpet premiere is just going to be bigger and better every year. I have a question. Um, will we ever be doing KBA again, or no? <laughs> well, it's going to be. It's going to evolve. It's going to evolve into the things that uh, Haley's talking about. Uh, okay. More uh, things done that day, as opposed to spending six months putting something in. All right. Okay. Any other questions? Got one in the back, go ahead. Uh, this is for Grace. What was it like being Olaf? <laughs> really difficult. <laughs> because I have to keep on doing the lines like over and over and over and over and over again because I kept on missing up, so. Really difficult. I think the high power is moving the camera. Yeah. <laughs> Any other questions? Yes, right there. How long did it take to make the video? Uh, well, let me touch upon that. Uh, the, the, the length of, of actually getting the content took two weeks. We get all that video, uh, and it's two weeks worth of video, and we have to edit it down. And that takes about, uh, about four months. So it takes, it takes a while to put it together. So one of the directions we wanted to take in the new KVA is to do things in a, in a much quicker turnaround time. And also, I gotta hand it to Haley because we now have a youth program that's, that's uh, all year round. And uh, I think that's great. We got an after school program, it's vital. Uh, one of the things I think we're, we're great at is uh, uh, we have one of our incredible, uh, Maya Cohen over there, who started out as a seven year old, eight year old in the first KBA here in Malden. Now she's a teacher. So when people say, what, what's the role of public access in your community? Well, we provide jobs. And uh, it's great to, great to see that happen. And uh, Alicia, too, is also teaching, which is, I think, uh, a tribute. Alicia, Lisa. Who is the Instagram? That's right. 
And, and we have this program, Chinese Girls, Chinese, Chinese Girls, Chinese Talk, which is a great program that Brendan was directing. He had no idea what they were saying. Uh, actually, Brendan, why don't you talk a little bit about that? Because I'm curious to know, how did you do that? I mostly was guessing on when they were going to be talking and when the next person was going to talk. It was pretty difficult what they were saying because I didn't understand. <laughs> but, but it was amazing because he could actually tell by the way the inflections, the way the voice went, that he'd know when the next person would start, he'd switch them on to come right on. It's, it really is remarkable. Uh, now he's moved on and uh, uh, the Chinese Girls Chinese Talk has another director, I guess, now. Who is doing it? Yeah. So actually this is to you guys. Um, although we're just having this premiere, which seems to be like a wrap up for the KBA program, but I want to say this is the new, the beginning of your new journey, journey at MATV. So uh, some people don't know about this, that you don't have to just come to MATV to take a class. You can come anytime. We uh, want to see you guys all the time at MATV. So now you have taken KBA. Now you have learned all these. Uh, great video skills. We want to see you guys use it, you know, like as how you saw some of the uh, um, the, the interviewers were doing um, interviews on the red carpet and they actually just went through our youth journalism class and we put them right to work using the skills that they learned in the class. So I want to encourage you guys to come down to MATV because now you're you have the skills. You can take out our equipment for free to record stuff with your your friends and family and we'll show it on MATV. So think these classes as the beginning of your journey at MATV and I want to see you guys every day at MATV creating your videos and whatever you are excited about. So I definitely want to challenge you guys and encourage you guys to come back to MATV and for, for people who have not done anything on MATV, we also would love to see you come to see us and uh, learn the skills and go out and make videos for our great city, right? Right. Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, I want to thank you all for coming. Uh, and. Uh, for one more time, let's hear it for this incredible group of kids. I just want to also say, uh, we have plenty of... Oh, I guess I'm going to say, go ahead. Um, I have a crush question for Brendan. Um, how did it feel um, being Donald Trump? <laughs> it, it was weird because his itch... itch all Make America great again. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's kind of weird that you know, we shot that in August. It's still relevant today, which is pretty incredible. And I also got whacked with hair a couple times. I have to say, your, your hair looks better tonight. <laughs> Real hair. And uh, we got a question. I have a question for Shannon. How does it feel to be Hillary Clinton? Um, it's strange. Um, the thing is, the wig for her was actually a long wig, and I had to tuck it in, and it kept falling. And yeah, really, it was fun to play Hillary. But also very strange because it looks like she had become very young. <laughs> <laughs> One of the things we talked about in that, that particular segment was the importance of if we're going to make fun of one, we're going to make fun of both. And uh, they got very creative in how they did that. So, uh, again, great writing. Let's hear for these kids with a great job. So, again, thank you all for coming, and uh, we'll see you next year.